We're here today to see if you can beat Fallout 4 as Johnny from In a Violent Nature. Quite frankly, they could have picked a better name for the guy. Johnny is just kind of a generic name there. Go into it by scrapping a bunch of stuff around Sanctuary and doing the whole fence post XP thing. Uh, you can get to a point to where you scrap the fence posts and build new ones almost at the same time. So it makes it go a little faster, but you're still losing fence posts overall. Build a bunch of shelves and some other random shit here. Able to get it up to a point to where we can build our weapon of choice for this run, which is our meat hook. We're going to be using that for the entire run and only that for the entire run. Mind you, I did pick up a mod that allows for a couple more modifications to be put on it, but... Mind you, it's leveled with the Iron Fist perk, as are all fist weapons. Uh, it does great damage because we have like two or three levels in Iron Fist by this point. And the heavy attack usually does a kill cam, which is fine. I will be using vats here and there throughout the run for more annoying enemies that like to block a bunch. Overall, this weapon does good damage, it's quick, and as I said, with the modification, well, the mod for the game, it allows me for more modifications to the meat hook. Got blown up by some mines here. When I loaded back, the mines just don't exist now. I don't know if this is like a glitch or how it's supposed to work if you get taken out by mines like that. Just kind of strange. Never had that happen before. Still trying to figure out where they are before I realize they're just not here anymore. After that, after I hit up Fort Hagen, running around a bunch, came across this... It's the same type of engine that's in Arc Jet that you can kill all the synths and stuff with. I don't know why there's just one randomly on the back of a truck pulled off the side of a hill like this. It explodes if you turn it on, though. Stop to talk to a guy in some power armor, an Atom Cat. I don't think I've ever met that faction before in this game. And again, I don't really explore too much outside of the main hub. Kill the Yao Guai and then figure, hey, I want to see how well this meat hook works against power armor. Uh, first hit, heavy hit, not too bad. He runs away. I don't know why if you're wearing a fucking mobile tank you would run away from anybody. Especially a dude with a goddamn meat hook, but here we are. So we chase him down, wait for him to stop, or at least slow down, get a couple more hits in, and take him out. Take everything he has, because why not? Start making our way toward Diamond City, taking out everything that moves along the way. Most annoying thing to deal with are the Super Mutant Suiciders. Here I figure, hey, I have this meat hook. I'm here. I gotta go rescue Nick anyway, so why don't I try taking out Swan? It's always a good test to see how far you've come. Get a couple of good hits on him, and then he just keeps blocking. And then when I go to hit him, he automatically blocks. Doesn't retaliate or anything. Which is annoying. Get a couple more hits on him, then it's just this weird, like, block bug thing. I don't know. I just decide to go into vats and hit him a few times. Seems to somewhat knock him out of it. It happens a few other times in, uh, in this run. I disarm uh, an opponent, and they, they do the same thing. They're not in a stance like they're fighting in melee. But they have like a super quick, snappy dodge that doesn't do any- it's- it's weird. It's- it's weird. Head on down into the subway tunnels to deal with the trigger men. Always a good source of loot and ammo fairly early on. Meat hook again, it- at this point I think I have a modification called sharpening on it. Which gives it bleed capability and more damage. Head back to Red Rocket, break stuff down. 
take a look at the other modifications that are added to the uh, list here. I also have a mod that allows for building of legendary perks. Slap a couple extra hooks on it. Because why wouldn't we? We want the poisoned hooks. Haven't really decided at this point what type of legendary perk I want on Well, perk. Legendary modification I want on it. But the extra damage works wonders. It also makes the kill cam happen more often, which is <laughs> fine. There we go. Easy enough to take out the trigger, man. This is this is what I was talking about. Maybe one of their arms is crippled, therefore they hold it further down. I don't know. Melee is just strange in this game. Take out the rest of them without any problem. Talk to Nick. Say we'll, well, we've got to go deal with these guys here first. A few kill cams later and it, they're dead, right? All these are is heavy attacks. I guess when a heavy attack can knock out the health completely, it just does a kill cam. We head back to Red Rocket, break everything down that we had. You know, easiest way to collect up enough supplies to be able to build the transporter thingy later on. Uh, kill trash can Carla. Her Brahmin puts up more of a fight than almost anything we fought so far. Go back to Diamond City. Talk to Nick and his secretary. What's her face? I don't know her name. Steal the key for Kellogg's house off of the mayor. I was going to kill him, but... That just aggroes everybody in the city, and then you got to wait for a while and then come back, and I didn't feel like doing that, so... Steal the key off of him. Head on in. Loot everything that's not nailed down. All right, we can go outside and he can introduce us to dog meat. Which I still find this funny that dog meat can be introduced to you by Nick instead of either meeting him at Red Rocket or uh, the Minuteman. Minutemen introducing him. Fast travel to Fort Hagen. Break out of Kellogg's dialogue thing. Try to take him out in one hit. Takes two instead. Not the end of the world, but could have done better. They got the synths with him. All the other synths up until now were just a single hit, so not really worth noting. Brotherhood of Steel shows up, and I get that Bethesda wanted a whole grandiose entrance and whatnot. Should have still let us fast travel when the whole airship thing's coming in. Kind of annoying that you can't. Make up a bunch of stim packs. Can't remember if this is from a mod or in the base game. Antiseptic blood packs and steel. That's all it takes. They're also not too hard to come by in-game. While they're more expensive and caps aren't really as valued hot, well, as highly valued in this game as compared to other ones, every vendor carries like at least 20 of them. As we're heading down the road a ways, we uh, run into Covenant. There's no one essential here, so I figure, eh, take them all out. After that, we gather enough supplies from there, along with everyone else along the road that we killed, to make it an instigating meat hook, which means it does double damage if an enemy is at full health. Which is, come on now, if it's doing like 300 damage, not many things are going to need a second hit, right? And we're not even fully maxed out on our Iron Fist perk yet either, which will give us even more damage with it. At this point, we're going to see Virgil, and on the way, I hunt down some rad scorpions. Say hi to the followers of the Apocalypse. Nope. Children of Adam. Stupid names for post-apocalyptic groups, I will say. We meet Virgil. Tell him Kellogg's dead. He's suspicious of us. Whatever. Head back to Red Rocket, break some stuff down, put our poisoned hooks on there, which now does bleed damage and poison damage. And this will this will do us for the rest of the run. Easy enough to just mow through a bunch of lightly armored opponents. And when we can't take them out in one hit, and even if they do block, it seems like the poison makes its way through the block, which helps chip down some of the enemies that normally survive. As you can see, not much does survive when it comes up against these things. Time for us to go get the Corsair chip. Because, you know, that's that part in every run. 
The gunners don't really stand a chance. Well, some of them do wear leather armor and even others wear combat armor. Again, this meat hook is dangerous. Corsair, you know, has a bunch of health. Even then, I disarm him and just keep hitting him. Kill the rest of the people here. Didn't know until recently that you could kill the uh, one in the room because it's apparently it's a shutter open room thing. I don't get why the Corsair just didn't call in a, another synth, you know, like five feet from his position into the room. They do it later on for that guy in the uh, one house. Could have just done it there, too. We go and say hi to the railroad. I hate this faction. Like, if it's... I don't know, I, I, just, I just hate them. Their ideology of helping all synths no matter what. Even the dude that's like a hardcore raider that pins people up and whatnot. You can't question it either. You have to help them. It's just stupid. Easy enough to make our way into the railroad. Decode, uh, decode the chip. Steal everything that's not nailed down. Leave. Talk to Virgil again. By this point, we're in metal armor. Colored with the Enclave paint. I think that was added in an update or something. Talk to the Minutemen, which they're still upstairs, even though I did most of the Museum of Freedom shit. I even have the uh, power armor back at my base, which is weird. Head outside, kill everything. I was almost worried about the death claw, and then, yeah, not not too worrying. Try to talk to Preston. Mama Murphy wants to talk to us. Can't actually get to him to converse with us Maybe now. Once I deal with the immediate problems. Head Speaking back up to Sanctuary. From a settlement that trouble is. He does his whole, a settlement needs your help shtick, and I, I just don't feel like fucking dealing with that shit. You change your mind. So, Can instead, you go we go to talk to the Brotherhood of Steel. Outstanding. Follow me. At least their missions are better. Air quotes. Fine. Figure at this point I'm gonna help Paladin Dance fight these synths off, which you can do. They're, they're not infinite or anything like that. I mean, you could just stand by and let him fight, in which case I do believe they, they'll just keep spawning, but you go in and help him without, you know, turning the room into a crematorium, and it doesn't take too long. Not entirely sure why the synths are here to begin with. Doesn't seem like there's any tech here that they'd want. While the one does have a deep range transponder. Well, that is a question. Is Dance a synth by this point? Right, because Paladin and Dance existed and was kidnapped by the synths at some point. Well, by the Institute at some point. And then made into a synth. Cloned or whatever the fuck they do. And then sent back out as Paladin and Dance. I mean, you can run into Preston Garvey at some point. Which is weird. So that... That's the question. When does he become a synth? And... Do they have, like, constant upload and uplink on where they are? And what they're doing? In which case, then, they would have known that the deep range transponder was something they needed. I don't know. Strange. Anyway, we had the fork strong to take out the super mutants. Meat hook, again. It just shreds them at this point. When you can hit them. I, I fucking hate that stupid ass backhand that every one of them does when you get close. And whenever they start doing that shit now, I just vats straight away, take care of them. Not less heartache and hassle. It does feel good being able to run in and mow down people like this, so... Well, super mutants in this case. And done. Port Strong is cleared out. Talk to Ingram. Get sent to build the platform. Build the platform. Go talk to Ingram again. I, wish I, had your... oh, I don't get why they just don't give her synth legs. They're already adapting Institute tech, so why not just give her, like, prosthetic synth legs at this point? Figure the power armor would be, uh uncomfortable to wear Very good. when you don't have any legs keeping you up off the, like, to me, crotch well plate of it. Your life going into the Talk to Elder Maxon. Maxim. Maxim. The Little King. 
And we head into the Institute. The child's responses were not at all of which I'm going to side with the Institute this run. By this point, I'm wearing combat armor for the most part. Since I was able to collect up a bunch off of the gunners. Helps keep us alive a little longer. Talk to Father. He tells us to meet up with the Corsair. With a Corsair. To take out a bunch of raiders on a, like, beached ship. Uh, no idea why you would want to use a mini nuke in, like... Like, I get this as a game and whatnot. In actual, like, real life, you shoot a mini nuke off. And it's going to vaporize half this ship. And then everything's going to fall into the ocean and then everybody's dead. Anyway, we collect up the uh, brave little toaster that ran away, kill off the last of his goons, and head back to the Institute. They then send us to Bunker Hill where we have to deal with what's left of the railroad. Or maybe this is the main part of the railroad. It would make sense that it's the main part of the railroad because why the fuck would you have your, like, leader randomly meet people that show up? Seems like a pretty significant security risk, you know? We shut off all the robots and send them back. And yeah, technically these synths aren't robots. They still have something like the size of a fucking... I don't know, I want to say like the size of a fist in their skull. Whatever. I also realized when I head back to the Red Rocket that they can take stuff out of your... Uh, settlement storage system. Which I didn't know that was a thing. Never had it happen before. They took a uh, nocturnal radium rifle and an incendiary I'm gauss rifle. Head back and talk to Father on top of the, uh, I guess CIT ruins. I, know that to you, I still think that the that Institute was a think tank the before the war. Both it had to have been the under... The, uh, under CIT beforehand. There's no way they built it after the war. Did he? So, uh, I think it was a think tank, kind of like the Big Empty. Although not technically in think tank robots. Which are a different thing. Talk to Father, and he names us his successor, even though, canonically... I don't care what anyone says, if the, like, lead developer and or writer of the game comes out and says that your character was present in an older game in the series, then I'm going with the character was present in the older game in the series. Uh, Nate, the main character here, is supposed to be one of these two guys here from the original intro for the first Fallout game. I guess he's supposed to be the one on the far left laughing as they execute this dude in Canada. I mean, the fucker had it coming. Still, though, somebody says that it's canon that that dude, that Nate, the main character here, is that guy, then I'm going with that's that guy, right? They could backpedal all they want, because technically it's a war crime, because the dude was, like, shackled or whatever the fuck. Doesn't matter. We had to get the uh, beryllium agitator. Which, in the sense that the Institute is using it, makes more sense than what the Brotherhood is using it for. The Brotherhood's using it like a battery, but they seem to be using it for their actual... What it's actually for. Right? Which I guess is to... Not technically produce power, but give you the capability of producing power from beryllium? Or some shit? I don't know anything about science. Don't take my word as gospel. Heavy hit a... Security bot, sentry bot, that's what they call. Take it out in one shot. The instigating modification is amazing. And this goes to show you the uh, difference between the two. The Protectron gives us more trouble than the <laughs> than the big death robot with a nuclear reactor in it, right? Head back to the Institute again. Get sent to go talk to the guy in the house that doesn't want to join us, but is going to join us. Take out the gunners outside. Again, these claws just rip through almost anybody. I just wish they were faster. Like in uh, New Vegas. Quite frankly, the, the entire melee combat of this game could have been completely redone and better. I know what they were trying to go for, but... Whenever you try to close the distance and get a snappy hit in, and then someone just backhands you and makes you stagger and whatnot, it's just not as fun. This is what I was talking about. They teleport a synth in to subdue the guy, 
through a wall. Why didn't the Corsair call for a synth earlier to get the one synth that was in the room? Guess it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Because they wanted us to find them. Put the beryllium agitator thing in the reactor. Close the door. Like, I don't know if that's going to actually help the radiation that does come out of it. Turn it on. It's doing its thing. We we'll wait for him to finish talking. And then go to our first meeting as the director. And it's, of course, about, oh, well, our, what, what, what are we going to do exactly? And they want to destroy the Brotherhood, which I fully understand. The Brotherhood can't control the tech they want it destroyed. We talked to Father. He seems happy that we went on a killing spree as soon as we met the railroad. Which is fine. And then it's time for the end game here. Where we get to take out Brotherhood after Brotherhood member. Even the Knight Sergeants in Power Armor, one heavy hit from these things. Now that we're fully leveled up, have all the fist, uh, Iron Fist perks. Poisoning, bleeding, uh, instigating, so it does double damage when they're full health. This thing takes out almost every one of these guys with one hit. I think the only ones it doesn't take out in one hit is like, an, I think Dance. I think Dance is the only one I can't take out in one hit. Which is amazing with how heavy these things hit. Uh, did have a problem with everybody picking up this fucking Gatling laser cannon, so I just... I'm done. I pick it up. That's that. Take out Ingram, let the synth thing do its thing. Take out Dance. Which, again, he, he took, like, four hits to kill. Like, Reese. Figure they'd give him power armor. Guess not. They can give us power armor as soon as we join the Brotherhood, but, you know, they don't give him any power armor. Try to take out Maxon, but he's like on the roof, shoved somewhere, so I can't get to him before it's time for Liberty Prime to do his thing. Which, gotta say, best robot in the game. There we go, Brotherhood's dealt with, and that is pretty much the end of the game. So yes, you can beat. Fallout 4 as Johnny. Again, they should have given him a better name. From uh, In Violent Nature. Or In a Violent Nature? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't actually watched the movie yet. I'm going to. Want to get some free time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.